Morning everyone, many thanks indeed for coming through and pressing the right numbers on your dial. This is The Winning Wavelength, this is Peter with you on my channel, Peter's Bracing Tips. And it's the free-to-air YouTube version on my daily. Many thanks indeed for calling through. I've got two bets for you today, both at Huntingdon, and they pay around about 5-0 blind, 50 to 1 for the double. So if you've got your pens and papers ready, I'll be giving you those two today in a pretty quick time. And just a quick word about my private club, which is full at the moment, and that's my syndicate super club, my super club syndicate. Another huge winner on there and a horse backed at all rates down from 11 to 1, 9 to 1, 8 to 1, into 9 to 2. Uh, another big winner called Radetsky March. Job done, everyone, and well done to all my members who backed another big winner there. Fantastic. Another big gamble and uh, very, very, very hard to find that horse, but I found it for my members. I remember my Super Club Syndicate is a long-term presentation, long-term subscription, but it is full at the moment. There is a waiting list to get in. You can read all about it on my website, which is www.petersracingtips.com. And uh, there's a list of winners there, including a thousand to one treble on the first day way back in November. Not that far back, about three months ago, opened up on the 1st of November with a thousand to one treble, which duly did the business. And it's continued to keep bringing the winners home. And yesterday, another one, which was not on this channel, of course, it wasn't presented on this channel. The horses I give on my private uh, syndicate uh, super club. Uh, Super Club Syndicate, Syndicate Super Club, whichever you want to pronounce it. So Syndicate Super Club are never reproduced on this channel. It can't be the way because it was a subscription-based channel and it is membership until the end of 2022. Well, I say places have all been taken, uh, but there is a waiting list to get on board. No problems whatsoever. So if you want to write in and put your name down for the waiting list, you can do that. But it is full right at this moment. That's my private website with the, the bets every day by, uh, on a website, etc., and also by WhatsApp and uh, so much more. Anyway, that's what's been happening on that. Uh, winner after winner after winner, going great guns. I was pleased with that one yesterday with that ski march. I wasn't so pleased with the two horses on this line. They didn't run their races. However, it's been pretty good, to say the least. I've had lots of winners. I think the four-day previously has had four paid payouts, including a seven-to-one winner on Saturday, so I uh, can't complain. And a fill 41, I think it's 40-to-one double, wasn't it, the previous Saturday? And uh, 14 to 1 double, so it's been all right. And they can't win every day. The horses I'm giving you generally are bigger prices, and today they are bigger prices. So, should we get on? I think we need to get on. I'm going to uh, take you to Huntingdon for this double this afternoon. I'm going to start with the 415 there on a horse I, I'm, I'm all over, really, and I really do like this one very much indeed. And um, I'll be surprised if this doesn't finish in the frame. And I think it's got a, well, I know it's got an amazing chance. I always say that, and then I say, I know it's got an amazing chance, but they have. Number two, Ballybo Mary. Ballybuff Mary, or Ballybo Mary, trained by Nigel Tristan Davis, ridden by the young apprentice Jordan Naylor, who rode it last time out, claims a valuable three pounds. I think off a mark of 102, running in a handicap for the first time, this horse, has, uh, or the mare, has the potential to absolutely hack up. Uh, the trip, and uh, moving right up in trip today, from uh, travelling over two and a half miles the last three times it's run, and then running in two bumper races over two miles, is going to be much more in keeping with its um, uh, breeding, and by Scirocco, uh, and uh, Ballyboff Mary, for me, five to one, currently trading, looks a cast iron each way, but number two, Ballyboff Mary, that's B-A-L-L-Y, B-O-U-G-H, Mary, uh, Mary from the Dairy, as they say. 4.15 at Huntingdon. Mary from the Dairy. There's one for you. Number two, Ballybuff Mary. Uh, off a mark of 102. I like it a lot. Last time out, went off at 20 to 1. But uh, ran a bit better than those odds suggested. I'm finishing third of seven at Warwick. And I think it's going to run an even better race today. First time in a handicap for the great Nigel Tristan Davis. Number two, Ballybuff Mary is my first bet of this double-headed attack today at Huntingdon, uh, down there, I think it's in Cambridge here, isn't it, Huntingdon, I always think it's Suffolk, but I think it's Cambridge here, either way, I like the track, it's a really good viewing spectacle from the grandstand, especially as they come through the uh, jump right in front of the stands, it's brilliant, it really is, a really intimate track, really nice and friendly, and um, not been for a little while, but I really would love to go again soon, it's a great track to have a nice day out, a nice day out, Huntingdon, it really is a nice day out, let's put it like that, right, OK, so for the second bet, and I'll give you that now, then I may be back at 6 o'clock or might leave it in the morning. If you have subscribed to the channel, 
then obviously you'll get the alert from the uh, Google, the uh, YouTube representatives, of course, and they're so kind. As long as you've subscribed to the channel, you will. If you've not, you won't get the alert, obviously. So if you can subscribe to the channel, it's in your favour to know when I'm coming on, whether it's at 6 o'clock or, or 9 in the morning. Anyway, I digress. Let's go to the 125 at Huntingdon for a horse which has been steadily been backed since last night, and I've had my eye on it because of that. They booked a good job, job jockey on it. Uh, who's rode it several times in the past then I think this horse could pop up it's got the hood on and the tongue tie today number six flamenco de cursor number six flamenco de cursor runs off a mark of 107 and this is a really ordinary handicap hurdle nine runners for a 0 to 110 uh, handicap hurdle and uh, I, I like this horse Flan flamenco de cursor and I think each way it's going to be there or thereabouts and it wouldn't surprise me if it did the business I say it's a very very ordinary affair there's one or two unknown uh, unknown contestants uh, in the shape of corn Corny Cello uh, would probably be the main, main protagonist there. Jamie Snowden, Paige Fuller. But I'm going to risk that. I'm going to risk that. She, that horse could win. Make no mistake about it, Corny Cello, because it's something I that's proverbial first running and a handicap. But I still like Flamenco de Cursa. I think it's a lot better than the form figures would uh, suggest. And off a mark of 107, I think this could be pitch perfect today. And I'm going each way. Flamenco de Cursa then in the 125 at Huntingdon. So there we go. Got there in the end. Two bats for you. Each way, Flamenco de Cursa. And each way, Ballyboff Mary. They are your two bats from me for today. Hope you've enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves, whatever you're doing today. And I'll be back to you either at 6 o'clock tonight at 9 in the morning. I'll let you know if you've subscribed. I shall send you the alert. In the meantime, God bless and bye for now.